voice of saying that you really don't you don't know what, what to say, you know, to call where, where to call home, and it's called no home to go home to. He said, you should be happy that you're here in America. He said, if it wasn't for him and his fellow Christians on their civilizing missions, he said, I would still be in Africa with those uncivilized savages. He said, I would still be there with the backward, soulless people of the world, the ones who have no history nor future. He said, I should be grateful I was brought to this great land, happy to call America my home. But in my heart, I know I could never really call America my home, because if this was my home, they wouldn't treat me the way they do. And if what they're saying about Africa is true, I don't want to go back there either. So I'm starting to feel like I ain't got no home to go home to, like I'm trapped in between these two lands without a home to go home to. They got me sharecropping on a piece of worthless land. And it seems like the more I make, the more they take. Season after season, the bigger balances do. And at the end of the harvest, I got nothing to go home to. And when I thought about moving up north, he said, you can't go nowhere. Said I couldn't leave till I paid you all I owe. So still ain't nothing to go home for, ain't nothing to go home for. And my kids, my kids can't go to school like other children do. They got to help me work in the fields because of the money I owe you. So in the eyes of my kids, thanks to you, I know coming home ain't no home to go home to. Coming home ain't no home to go home to. They got me working, doing our job. Seems like even the salvation of my soul is being used to maintain their life of leisure. Now my heart could never explain somebody else's pain, but why would she say I raped her? Why would she say I raped her when in reality she couldn't keep her hands off me? Told me not to tell a soul, then she gonna cross me. Now they burning crosses all around town, burn my house down to the ground. Now what I'm gonna do? Cause I ain't got no home to go home to. They got their dogs and their guns and they coming after me for something I ain't doing her. Heart she know is true. And I refuse to die for her life, to be blamed for her shame. My wife said you can try to explain, but the truth they ain't gonna believe. They ain't gonna be happy till you hanging from one of those trees. My grandmother says, son, all you can do is run, child. Please just leave. She said, if you don't leave tonight, you won't live to see the morning light. So now I'm running. So now I'm running. I know where I'm running from, but I don't know where I'm running to because it seems like I ain't got no home to go home to. I don't got no home to go home to, but I'm running. Running through the darkness of the woods. I'm guided by the light of my mother's face. I'm running through the memories of my mother's smile. I remember being taken out of my mother's arms as a child, I'm running. I'm running like I'm racing against my childhood memories. I remember my grandmother telling me that I laid in the blood that spilled when my father got killed. She said, but they can never kill his spirit. She said, that's why they call me Anandi, because it means my father's inside of me. She said, that's Igbo, our native tongue, from laying east of Benin, where our people come from. So although it seems like I don't, I guess I really do got a home to go home to. I got a home to go home to, but I can't. I wish I could run back to those African shores, but I can't, and I run to, I can't run no more, I can't run no more, but yet my mind's still running, my mind's still running. Think about my family and how much they gonna miss me as I stand on the banks of the Mississippi, and I say to God that I don't know what to do, and the face of the river became the face of God, and he smiled and said, come on home, child, you got a home to go home to and it seems the more the river roared the more God said he loved me then he stretched open his arms as if he was just waiting to hug me and as my feet leave this loveless land I can hear my grandmother on her knees praying saying precious Lord take my baby's hand and although it's the middle of the winter the water was warm and this world can't do me no harm because now I'm in God's arms and I know he real because I can feel him holding me tight as I'm carried under the way by the current of the river I don't fight because I know God's gonna bring me home tonight Thank you.